everyone now let's start with our first lesson for today aerobic exercise and how to compute BMI so what is aerobics the word aerobics literally means with the oxygen or in the presence of the oxygen aerobic activity trains the heart lungs and cardiovascular system to process and deliver oxygen more quickly and efficiently to every part of the body aerobic exercise also known as cardio is a physical exercise of low to high intensity that depends primarily on the aerobic energy generating process aerobic is defined as relating to involving or requiring free oxygen and refers to the use of oxygen to adequately meet energy demands during exercise via aerobic metabolism what is aerobic good for a regular workout will strengthen your heart muscle and lungs stimulate the circulation of blood help your burn calories improve the shape and tone of your body according to the history archibald hill a british psychologist introduced the concept of maximal oxygen update and oxygen depth in 1922 and mayor and hill shared the 1922 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for their independent work related to muscle energy metabolism. Building on this work, scientists began measuring oxygen consumption during exercise and so forth. Both the term and the specific exercise method were developed by a physician called Dr. Kenneth H. Cooper in San Antonio Air Force Hospital in Texas. His book, Aerobics, was published in 1968. After the publishing of Cooper's book, after fitness instructor Jackie Sorensen developed a series of dance routines known as the aerobic dance to improve the cardiovascular fitness. There are a lot of equipment in using or dancing or anything movement used in aerobics. Aerobic equipment can comprehend floor mats, dumbbells, steps, ropes, bicycles, trampolines. Aerobic equipment simulates the movements of aerobic exercises, such as walking, jogging, rowing, hiking, biking, climbing. These activities rhythmically and continuously move your large muscles. The key to getting your heart beating fast enough and long enough for aerobic conditioning. There are uh, a lot of kinds of aerobics. Number one, freestyle aerobics. Or an aerobics style in which a group instructor choreographs several short dance combinations and teaches them to the class. This is usually achieved by teaching the class one to two movements at a time and repeating the movements until the class is able to join the whole choreography together. Next is step aerobics. Has all benefits of a high intensity cardio workout without putting stress on your joints. It improves overall fitness by building strength trusted source, reducing fat, and boosting your cardiovascular health. It also burns calories, making it a ideal way to maintain your target body weight. The moves target your legs, upper body, and core, building strength and flexibility. They also improve your balance, coordination, and also agility. Next in sports aerobics. Also referred to aerobic gymnastics as a sport where the objective is to perform several high-intensity aerobic gymnastic moves and patterns that are in sync with background music. The sports which originated as a variation of traditional aerobics. Kinds of aerobics, water aerobics, or also known as aqua fitness, is the performance of aerobic 
exercise in water such as swimming, pool, done mostly vertically and without swimming, typically in a waist deep or deeper water. It is a type of resistance training. Cardio or kickboxing aerobics is a group fitness that, uh, that combines martial arts techniques with a phase cardio. This high energy workout challenges the beginner and elite athlete alike, builds stamina, improves coordination and flexibility, and burn calories as you build lean muscle with this fun and challenging workout. Next is dance aerobics. Dance aerobics strengthens your heart and lungs and trains your cardiovascular system to manage and deliver oxygen more quickly and efficiently throughout your body. Rules of sports aerobic: the performance area is 7 meter by 7 meter. Each competition performs a 1 minute 45 seconds aerobics sequence with the three compulsory exercises. Each routine is evaluated based on the three basic elements, which are artistic, execution, and difficulty. There are a lot of champions in aerobic. I have named few. Kaloyan, Kaloyanov, and Konstanza Pavlova in Bulgaria, world champions 1997 and 1999. Galina Lazarova and Maria Kolev, Bulgaria, world champions 2004. Freestyle aerobics. Again, it is a group instructor choreographs several short dance combinations and music is used throughout the class. This follows this transaction to strengthen muscle and stretch routine to cool down and improve flexibility. Now, the warm-up aerobic exercises. 5 to 10 minutes. Walking or marching in place. Stepping from side to side. Moving the arms at waist level or higher. A gentle stretch of each of the major muscles. Cardiovascular aerobic. 15 to 25 minutes, back and forth movements, leaping and hopping, and also you can use uh, dance moves. Cool down aerobic exercise, 10 to 15 minutes. You need the gentle motion of the warm up pace and stretching, whether it is a static and dynamic stretching. Now, what is body mass index? How to compute BMI? What is BMI? It's a measure of body fat based on your weight in relation to your height. It is more of an indicator than a direct measurement of a person's total body fat. As the BMI score increases, so does the person's uh, total body fat increases. How to calculate BMI? Body mass index is a simple calculation using a person height and weight. The formula is BMI kg over m square, where kg is a person's weight in kilograms and m2 is the, their height in meters squared. A BMI 25.0 or more is overweight. Well, the healthy range is 18.5 to 24.9. BMI applies to most adults 18 to 65 years old. BMI is not used for muscle builders, long-distance athletes, pregnant women, the elderly, or young children. This is because BMI does not take into account whether the weight is carried as muscle or fat, just the number. Those with a higher muscle mass, such as athlete, may have a high BMI but not be greater health risk. Those with a lower muscle mass, such as children who have not completed their growth, or elderly who may be losing someone muscle may have a lower BMI. Or during pregnancy and lactation, a woman's body composition changes. So using BMI is not acceptable or appropriate. There are classification, underweight, normal weight, overweight, obesity class one, obesity class two, obesity class three. Factors affecting BMI. Genetic factor. Many studies have identified a specific 
defect in genes that control body weight. A defect in genes that synthesize leptin, which is crucial for mineral system produced by fat and release into the bloodstream that act on hypothalamus to regulate body weight. Congenital absence of leptin produce continual hunger and marked adversity in children. The second genetic defect observed in this badge's response, the signal leptin provided. The signal largely determines how much one's eat, how much energy one expends, and ultimately one's body weight. Psychological factor. Studies have shown that obese people are about 25% more likely to experience a mood disorder like a depression compared with those who are not obese. Many of these are people eat in response to negative emotions such as boredom, sadness, or anger, as eating suit fear, sadness, and more for some. Lifestyle fact four. Level of physical activity, sedentary lifestyle can lead to obesity, and so active lifestyle can overcome such problems. Dietary habits, large consumption of food, high sugar, and fat increases likelihood in taking rises, which causes problems of overweight and vice versa. Sleeping hours, insomnia, or lack of sleep can cause hormonal imbalance that increase your appetite or craving for food high in calories and carbohydrates. Economical factor and economical constraint contribute to unhealthy food choices. Among low socioeconomic groups, there are tend to buy products which are cheaper to reduce their food budgets while maintaining diet similar to the average population diet. And also the proportion of energy by meat, dairy products, vegetable and fruits decreases, but the portion by sweets and added fats and cereal increases, which can lead to obesity. Thank you for listening. I hope you learned.